Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about one of the most interesting rumors that this entire franchise has ever had. Today, we're going to be going over any evidence we can find on Michael Crichton's version of Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> So if you didn't know by now, Michael Crichton is the author who created this franchise. He wrote both Jurassic Park and The Lost World in 1990 and 1995, respectively. He was also heavily involved in the development of the first movie in the series and even came back on board to help write Jurassic Park 3 in 1998. However, creative differences with where the story was going would ultimately result in the father of Jurassic Park stepping away from that third movie's production. I'll do an entire video on that subject soon, but during this this time in JP history, specifically in between the release of The Lost World Jurassic Park and the third Jurassic movie, tons, and I mean tons of rumors started to circulate around the world on a rumored third Jurassic Park novel that Crichton was getting ready to write himself in preparation for the next movie that was due out soon. These rumors come from a few notable places that will probably be a good nostalgic blast from the past for those of us who are actively on the internet during Dan's JP3 page days, as well as those of us who have actively followed Michael Crichton's career over these last few decades. Now, what I think a lot of you may find pretty interesting is the fact that originally, way back in the day, Jurassic Park 3 was actually talked about not as a sequel to The Lost World, but rather a prequel to Jurassic Park. I can even remember days in the playground where I would refer to the next movie being called Jurassic Park Zero when I was a kid, which is kind of funny looking back. If we take a look at some of these old rumors that were circulating around the web in the late 90s and early 2000s, it becomes pretty clear that there definitely was something going on back then during the third movie's development. But much of this information has kind of been brushed aside over time. Interestingly, a lot of it checks out with what we all know today. Michael Crichton did indeed come on board to help Steven Spielberg write Jurassic Park 3. That was something that really did happen. But then he left the project, and talk of a third novel kind of faded away once trailers started coming out with the Spinosaurus. There were of course old reports that stated that Spielberg would more than likely not direct the film, which was of course true as well as rumors that featured information like The Lost World will end by setting up a third and final film, which quote, involves a T-Rex and a big ass boat. We of course know this to also be true as well, since Spielberg revealed way back in the day that the end of The Lost World, where the Rex is in the city, was originally supposed to be the focus of Jurassic Park 3, so this information isn't exactly all worthless. What's even more intriguing is that back then, there was even talk of a fourth book being written as a sequel to The Lost World, while the third was once again rumored to be a prequel to Jurassic Park. I'd write this off as being a little too out there, but funnily enough, their information on pteranodons being integral to JP3 wound up being true, so they couldn't have been completely out of the loop as far as rumors go. Possibly the most interesting rumor that was being circulated around this time had to be one that involved an employee at a local bookstore who was quoted as saying, since David Kep was no longer attached to the project, Michael Crichton was coming back to work on a third movie and novel, which allegedly would have involved ending the series with dinosaurs breeding on the mainland and humans having to put up walls around their cities. Of course, all of this talk about this incredibly cryptic book that never saw the light of day would ultimately culminate in somebody just straight up asking Michael Crichton in an interview. So we jump forward in time to November of 1999, when the author sat down with CNN.com to talk about his work. And it's here where the question was plainly asked, will there be a prequel to Jurassic Park? To which the author replied, no, there will be a sequel. What? Okay. Now again, I need to reiterate that this was an interview done in 1999, four years after The Lost World came out and a year after he had come back to write Jurassic Park 3. So needless to say, I think a lot of people will find that to be a pretty interesting response. But that's not the last time someone would ever ask Crichton about a third Jurassic novel. If we jump forward in time again, all the way to 2002, the author was asked the following, are you going to write a new Jurassic Park book? To which he responded, no. After I wrote Lost World, 
I said I wouldn't write another dinosaur book. And that was pretty much the end of it. So if we go back in time and take a good look at all of the information and rumors surrounding Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park 3, it kind of becomes obvious that it wasn't ever really going to happen. That's not to say that the guy didn't take his time to write out some notes on where the story would have gone. We know that he was attached to writing the screenplay for JP3, so I'd say notes and ideas for a third story are not only likely, but realistically out there somewhere deep in the wild. We've just never really seen them. As far as a third book though, look, I hate to be that guy, mainly because I want it too, but I highly doubt that any sort of information that the author had planned to continue the story he finished in Lost World will ever see the light of day. Dragon Teeth, of course, is a dinosaur book that came out after the author's death. However, that novel was centered around paleontology in the 1800s and not genetically recreated dinosaurs that were spliced together with modern animals. So. From all of the past evidence that happens to exist out there, I personally have to say that I don't think the alleged third JP book is really a thing, much less the fourth that some people were speculating on back then. Now, with all that out of the way, I want to thank my friend Matt, also known online as Sickleclaw, who actually helped me get a lot of this old information from back in the day. He does a lot of cool stuff for Jurassic fans online, and he's helped me out before in the past on stuff with the series. So a big shout out and thank you to him. Now that I've gone through all of my thoughts and opinions and presented all of the evidence from the past, I'd love to know all of your own thoughts on Crichton's rumored ideas for JP3. Whatever you think about this stuff, whether it be prequel, sequel, dinosaurs breeding on the main land, I'd love to hear all of your opinions and perspectives in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that you've all continued to support me the way you do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.